technology touches fashion in so many different ways, you know, design tools, manufacturing and production, distribution, and also even in recycling the garment at the end of its life cycle. Well, I like to say that, you know, I've, I've been researching this area for 15 years, you know, sort of writing about it. Um, and I really feel quite strongly that, you know, wearables time has come. Um, and, you know, it's great that, you know, for the first time in, say, 15 years, it's not just me who's saying that, that the media are really picking that up. And we're, we're seeing that reflected in terms of the wearable devices, you know, the Apple Watch being an example of that. Um, and also in the biometric technologies that are coming into sportswear, we're also seeing amazing technological uh, innovations in health and medical industries as well, which are not really fashion, but they, they are part of the wearable future. It's like an important piece of the puzzle. You know, the truth about fashion is that it enables us to be more than we are when we're naked, right? Um, you know, fashion or clothing, you could say, has the potential to make us, you know, stronger, faster, tougher, more resilient, look better, you know, and this is, this is all what the fashion experience is. So being able to integrate technology into that really amplifies that ability. So if we're wearing technologically enhanced garments that, say, can retrieve data, then we're becoming smarter as a result. And if our, you know, sort of wearable technology enables us to really, you know, sort of keep an eye on our kids, then we're becoming better parents. And if it enables us to monitor our health conditions, then it's making us healthier as a result. I'd really, you know, sort of like to ask that question and people would say, oh, you know, it, it's, it's what my, you know, sort of watch or, you know, sort of like bracelet or, you know, other wearable accessory is telling me. Um, or, you know, I've got all the data in my mobile phone because, you know, my watch is collecting information and taking health readings and giving me sports data, you know, that kind of stuff. Or, you know, even the phone is, is engaging with embedded technology in a retail environment or picking up, you know, sort of information that's been being transmitted by someone on the other side of the, the room. This, this is part of a sort of a bigger sustainability issue, but people that are against uh, using animal hide and animal products like feathers and things, 3D printed technology makes it possible to reproduce those really interesting textures like, you know, leather, animal hides, snake skins, feathers and things like that. So there definitely is uh, a kind of beauty involved. Then 3D printing also makes it possible to produce surface textures that right now we can't produce in any other way, right? Also color grading, color scaling, um, and don't forget, you know, we say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When a consumer has the ability to start customizing what they're wearing, they're going to think it's much more beautiful because then it conforms to their taste rather than strictly to the fashion designer or the brand's taste. So if you think about the way that 3D printing uses materials, it really only uses the amount of material required to make that object with very, very little waste and a very tiny amount of energy being released. You know, things can be made on site to specification. Obviously, this is going to, you know, sort of increase as, as years go by. I mean, to me, that really is kind of like the ultimate in the conservation of materials and uh, energy, which is so important to a bigger sustainability issue. It would be uh, for an all-purpose wearable technology garment to be developed that could enable everyone who wore it. So it would help the factory worker work more efficiently and find the job more meaningful. It would help the person, you know, doing the dangerous job in an oil re refinery identify airborne toxins and poisonous gases and, you know, protect them if a fire broke out. Um, 
It would help parents track their children. It would help children feel safe and secure. Um, it would enhance the way that our bodies look, so it would give the wearer much more confidence. Um, it would be social and exchange information, so it broke down boundaries between people. Uh, you know, a Superman suit. <laughs>